Uh, year in and year out, uh, Davidson's one of the toughest teams in the Atlantic 10 to guard, and uh, so they proved to be very difficult to defend today. Um, and what they do is they have great shooters out there, at least four of them at all times, and then they have a super system that gets them layups, and uh, so that really was hard to guard. Offensively, this was easily our best passing game of the year. We ended up with 18 assists, and especially in the first half, the ball really moved. And uh, so that is progress. Uh, you know, we are improving as far as moving the ball. Coach, in the first half, you shot 55%. It really felt like you guys were getting inside of that Davidson zone, able to take advantage with Oni and then get some shots from beyond the arc. What did you like from your offense in the first half? It's certainly the passing, simply moving the ball. Uh, Yvonne threw the ball. So within their ball screen defense, we were able to find Oni at the rim. And so that's what you're talking about as far as getting it inside. Uh, Yvonne threw some really good passes, but he wasn't the only one. Coach, the, uh, you guys went to the full court press periodically in the first half. What was the, what yes. was the reason for that? So the idea is Davidson is just really hard to guard. And so sometimes if you can, you know, make them use five seconds bringing it up, then maybe they only get to run that great offense for 24 seconds or 25 seconds. Um, so we were just trying to throw different looks at them. Uh, we have a lot of respect for Coach McKillop. Um, He's as good as it gets. He's one of the best coaches in the country. And uh, you have to try to do different things uh, because their team is so well trained. Coach, in the second half, it really felt like Davidson made some good adjustments, able to get open looks. John Absol Goodmanson was able to facilitate, make plays for others. What did Davidson do in the second half that was the key for them taking the lead and keeping it throughout? Yeah. So, and I made this point to our assistant coaches um, after the game. They scored 37 points, meaning Davidson, in the first half. So um, I don't know that they adjusted a whole lot. I'm sure they did. I'll go back and watch the film. But, you know, they were hard to guard in both halves. Coach, what's the, what's the status of Antoine Portley or Ngazi and, and Chuba? Yeah, so Chuba is out for the year. He had knee surgery, and uh, so he is finished for the year. Both Ghazi and Antoine are day-to-day -day. and um, so Air Tengazi is in the concussion protocol mm -hmm. and um, Antoine has a leg injury. Coach, one guy who has really taken advantage of the injuries is Oni Aisi. It just seems like he's getting stronger in the last few games. Had 17 and just two rebounds but moving forward are you going to try and implore him to be more of a focal point on offense, just playing more through him? Because it just seems like when you do play through him, a lot of good things happen, whether it's easy looks at the basket or kickouts for open three-point shots. Yeah, so since April, we really have encouraged our guys to look at the rim, throw the ball inside. Uh, with that being said, every game is different. So because of Davidson's ball screen defense today, that's why he was able to be a bigger part offensively. With that being said, Oni has played back-to-back -back games at a really high level. So the game in Pittsburgh on Wednesday, and now this one, he has played very well. Coach, can you talk about the defensive intangibles that Joel Soriano brings to the court? Yeah, so he didn't get a block tonight, but he certainly protects the rim. And the best thing he does is rebound. Um, so he did do a good job, not only tonight, but in the last game of being physical, of rebounding, protecting the rim. That's what he does well. And, and Coach, with, with all due respect, I'm not questioning uh, your coaching ability, yeah. but have you ever toyed with the idea of playing uh, Onye and Joel Soriano simultaneously? Yeah, it's something we've talked about, especially recently, um, you know, since Chuba went down. It's something that we've explored for the last several games. And, um, you know, the way Davidson uh, put so many shooters out there on the court, I don't think it was a good idea tonight. Um, but. Uh, it's something we certainly talk about often.